Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll tell you how to fix iPhone backtap not working. Backtap is a useful feature on iPhone that comes with iOS 14. It enables users to open control center, take a screenshot, trigger accessibility, or conduct other operations via quick double or triple tap. Also, this feature brings a lot of convenience to users. It sometimes stops working on the iPhone. If you are also facing this backtap issue, in this video, we will show you why this issue occurs and how to fix this. But first, subscribe to my channel for more upcoming videos and hit the like button. So let's start the video without wasting any time. So the first step is to move phone case. Generally, the backtap feature can work when your iPhone has a phone case. However, if the phone case you use is too thick, your iPhone may fail to pick up your tap and respond it accordingly. Therefore, when you find backtap fails to work, you can try again after removing the phone case. Also, you should check device compatibility. Not all iOS devices support the backtap feature, so it's important for you to check if your device is compatible with backtap. And the next step is enable backtap in settings. If iPhone double tap not working, it's possible that the issue can be resolved by adjusting the backtap settings. To use the backtap feature, you need to enable it via the settings app first. For this, go to settings on your iPhone, scroll down, and then tap on accessibility. Next, tap on touch option. Scroll down to the bottom, and then tap on backtap. Then click on the double tap option to choose one action and hit on the triple tap option to choose another action and you are done. And the next step is force to start your iPhone. Force starting is a useful and viable method to fix many system issues on your iOS device. Therefore when you meet iPhone back tap not working, also a method that is worth trying for you. To force restart your iPhone, press and quickly release the volume up button, do the same with the down button and press the power button. Next, slide to power off, wait for some time and press the power button until you see the Apple logo on your home screen and you are done. And the next step is update iOS system. Updating iOS system is another solution for you when the backup feature on your iPhone fails to work. To update the system of your iPhone, just go to settings, scroll down, tap on general and then tap on software update. Wait until the page is loading, see if there is any update available. Then tap on download and install. Once the update is complete, reset your iPhone back, tap to see if it worked well on your iPhone and you are done. And the next step is reset all settings. The last method to fix back tap iPhone not working is to reset all settings. This reset will erase all your customized settings and set them to the default state. For this, go to settings, scroll down and then tap on general, scroll down to the bottom and then tap on transfer or reset iPhone. Next, tap on reset and then tap on reset all settings. It might ask you to enter your passcode. So enter your passcode and follow the on-screen instruction to reset all settings. When the reset is over, you can try to use backup tab feature again and check if it can work now and you are done. I hope this video will help you to fix iPhone backtap not working after i17.3 update and also let us know in the comments below if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.